Um, I found out I was going to Rio after Nationals in Edmonton. I had to stay there for uh, the next day to hear the team announcement. So we got an email from the head coach, Peter. So I was pretty excited and that's how I found out I was going to the Olympics. My role was pretty much the same like how a sub would be. Like I was in the infield with them, like warming up, doing all the drills, doing the exchanges to be ready if anyone like, you know, something happened to anyone. So either, even though I didn't run, I was still a big part of the team and I was still ready to, you know, do anything like basically sub in for whoever like Anything that happens to my favorite part of being at the Olympics is I have a lot actually. I love the atmosphere. I love being around like all the fast, amazing people. I love meeting the new people and like just experiencing their culture. And I just love calling myself an Olympian. Like finally, you know, accomplishing my goal and my dreams. <laughs> Getting ready part for the opening ceremony was really overwhelming for me because <laughs> I was still trying to like get into my head okay you're actually going to be on TV and walk with all these amazing people athletes that you would like I would have never imagined I'll be there but I was there and getting ready was just really exciting for me because I, as soon as I put on the suit I was like wow this is actually it and then walking through the ceremony was just amazing like tearful because you see so many people just emotional about this experience because people have been training for like four years and I'm right there with them experiencing this so it was amazing and it was the best experience of my life. I met everyone that I have looked up to my whole life through track and field. I met Usain Bolt because I had a friend that was connected with him so we went into the Jamaican house and met him. I met Mustafa Powell which is also a big deal. I met Yoan Blake, I met Allison Felix, and I've loved her ever since. I met Shelly Ann and Veronica Campbell. And I met like everyone you could think of, because it's just like we're all sharing the same cafeteria. We're all basically closed in the same village. So everywhere you go, you meet someone, and you're like, oh my god, that person, like, that's the gold medalist, that's the world medalist. It was amazing. Um, sometimes it was all business, like I had training every day. Um, I went to go see the U.S. Um, basketball team play against uh, Serbia and the gymnastic team. So I got to see, um, you know, Gabby and Sabelle. The one's like way, way shorter than me, but whew, the girls tackle. So it was fun doing those. But other than that, all I did was train and just basically meet new people. Um, we went to our training camp in Judy Sephora. So that was really fun. That was like three hours away from Rio. So we got to experience things in like their marketplace and go around and like, you know, just explore. But other than that, when we went back to Rio, it was kind of like game time. So we didn't really get the chance to go outside the village to explore because they're like, oh, safety first. But it wasn't really as bad as they made it seem. I unfortunately did not get to see this which was really sad because I really wanted to see him um, because he had to compete the next day that I got back so it was just kind of really hectic to see him, right? And having another Missouri State athlete go there is just really good because it just shows you that the program here is really amazing and that if you really focus and like, you know, do what your coach tells you and work hard, you can just be like me and you Uvis and like, you know, accomplish your goals and be an Olympian. So that was really, really good that he was there. First time meeting Jamal was actually really funny. It was on a bus. Like I was like, okay, I saw uh, Bahamian, like the team. So I'm like, okay, let me just get up and go ask if they know this guy. So I went up and I asked this guy and he, I was like, do you know Jamal? Like this guy showed him a picture and he's just like, that's him sitting right there. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. And he's like, well, hi. I'm like, hi, um, I'm Marissa, the one that messaged you, like, from Missouri State. He's like, oh, okay, I'm like, yeah, it's really cool to meet you. And we got, we got along and we talked and he was pretty cool. Fabian was also an interesting story. I met him when I was training and I saw that he was from the Netherlands and he was doing triple jump with um, the American triple jumper. So I was just like, okay, let me just walk over there. And you know, I'm all scared and nervous. And then he was really friendly. He's just like, 
oh, I was looking for you too because he was supposed to come to the Canadian house and like ask for me because he wanted to really meet me. But meeting him was really, like, it was amazing. He told me stories about Missouri State, Coach Boys, and how amazing it is that he has like three athletes here that he has trained. So it was amazing meeting both of them. My experience being in Missouri State has helped me a lot. Like, I have transformed into the sprinter that no one thought I could be. And Coach Boyce believed in me and all, everybody in Missouri State believed in me and they helped me to push to become an Olympian. So being here is, I would not trade it for anything. Like it's helped me so much and I know I can be better. So I'm really excited to see what this season has. Tori told you the plan is definitely make it to the Olympics in Tokyo. So that is definitely the goal and it's going to remain the goal and I know that I have it in me to do it. And this time, I'm going definitely my individual events, so just stay tuned.